Hello, my name is Carl Hester. I serve as pastor at Messiah Lutheran Church in Amherst, New Hampshire. Welcome to worship. We are glad you are here with us uh, for this first Wednesday of Advent of 2020, December 2nd. All of the saints here at Messiah uh, welcome you. We also welcome our brothers and sisters from Christ the King Lutheran in Nashua, New Hampshire. This year, Messiah and Christ the King are, are joining forces in worship for our Sundays of Advent and for our Wednesdays in Advent. We are so glad you're here. Everything you need for worship is will be on the screen. Uh, it is a blessing to have you. We hope and pray that you will be blessed. We give thanks to One License and the Sundays and Seasons too for granting us a license to use this service and the graphics we've used and to stream them online. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light of darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. We shall raise our songs to you, God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, of the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills the night with wonder, love that warms a weary soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You made the heaven splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way. Loving Spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to who God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. 
For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from 2 Peter, the third chapter. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire? But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth, where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Be 
strong take heart. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong take heart. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to Chosen one of God, most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God. And my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud. And uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. In peace. 
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks, thanks to the you. May God create our We've put together an Advent devotional that goes day by day from uh, November 29th through December 24th. Uh, it is reflecting on some of the hymns we've chosen for our Sunday worships and, and some themes from the whole evening prayer as well as some other bits. If you'd like a copy of this, uh, please let me, Pastor Carl, know and I'll gladly get you a hard copy. Or if you'd like a PDF version, you can go to www.messiahnh.org and click on the cover and, and you can get it there as well. We hope and pray this resource will be a blessing to you. Thank you. This coming Sunday is the second Sunday of Advent and Messiah and Christ the King will again be worshiping together. You can find the worship service the way you do normally for either church. We look forward to being together and to having you with us. Next Wednesday will be our second Holden Evening Prayer Service for Advent this year. We are going to be doing a Zoom version, though, instead, so it will be live. And if you'd like to join us, you can come to www.tinyurl.com slash messiahnhzoom. We'll remind you of that on Sunday as well and get it out in email. But if you forget, you can also go to our church website, www.messiahnh.org, and you can click on the Zoom link there as well. We look forward to seeing you next week.